What's up everybody? Today it's time for a little DIY video where I will be showing you how to remove your license plate frame. Now, a lot of owners hang around with their license plate from the official dealership uh, just advertising it for free. Now, some are even proud of having that official license plate from the dealership because it means they are wealthy and they can afford to pay three times more for a simple oil change than they would do at a regular workshop, but it's fine for them. So let's get to it. Right, so let's go for it. As you can see, I've got my license plate with the dealership information, but we just have to start by sliding through here, which if you can see, there's a slide to unlock sign. So you just pull it left and it pops right open. So there you go. And then you just open this plastic cover that is in here, which is attached by some small clips that are removed by applying some pressure. Uh, this is not a big deal. And there it goes to the third and now the last one. So we leave it here and then we could leave the license plate right here as it is or you can remove the license plate by you know just applying some pressure to those clips and then just sliding the plate uh, towards one side and well this is not uh, something very difficult it just uh, hold there by pressure so it should come off pretty easily as as you can see there we go and we'll leave it here so now what we've got is the license plate holder with these two screws that can be easily removed as I will do now. So we just start by this one first and yeah, screen, screen, a little bit more. Okay, this one is gone. And then the other one, which should come off pretty easily. Yeah, this thing is also gone. So. Just let me leave this here and here what you can see is where your new license plate frame would attach or what you could also do is to if you don't want to use a license plate frame is just to make two little holes in here in the license plate so you could just stick it right away. Right, so I've just searched some license plates that I like to mount in my car and I've just found a Audi Sport uh, license number plate frame which is just 11 US dollars but it has 960 extra as shipping but as you can see it looks stunning and I definitely would like to, to, to have it. This is one of my favorites. I also have this Audi Quattro uh, plate frame, which, uh, well, my car is not a, a equipped with the Quattro system or wheel drive system, but this one for the price it is, it's nine pounds uh, and the uh, postage is just one pound, which is good. Next is this uh, classic Audi logo, but the price 28 US dollars seems uh, pretty expensive to me, even though the shipping is free. But well, here you've got some more images that just to convince yourself. Next thing is this one with the logo only, but without uh, the lettering of Audi written on it. It's just 18 US dollars plus 10 dollars in shipping, which makes it a total of 28 dollars. This is well, it's it's average, I would say. Next is this S line plate frame which uh, also seems uh, pretty nice even though it's just at the $30 range uh, even though you have to notice that you're getting two plate holders just in case you also want to mount it in the front and here it's some extra bonus that uh, if for those AMG owners uh, or AMG fans that would like to have an, an AMG plate frame you can also have it and it looks pretty cool so, yep, there you go. 
and an other extra bonus for Mercedes owners. This one has AMG plus the Mercedes logo uh, and it's just 13 pounds. So I, I don't have an AMG nor a Mercedes, but um, I would definitely consider buy this uh, license plate frame. So I hope you like my choice. All the links will be in the description down below. But uh, as always, make me know what you think, which one is your best in the comment section down below. Right, so once again, you've got your new license plate frame mounted. All you have to do is slide back in your license plate as you did to remove it. Uh, this will just uh, come in as easy as it came out. And it's, it's nothing, nothing difficult, as you can see, it was just a 10 second labor. Now, as I don't have a new license plate frame, you could leave this one as it is, like here, exposed, or you could just stick the new cover you have purchased back here, so it would look much better than it does to me, because I'm just mounting the same uh, license plate frame as I had previously. Uh, but mine is coming very soon, so I, I hope to show it to you. And well, now as you can see, it's just some clips here, here and there. We close this tab and we slide it to the right, so it's in lock position. And there it is. This is how you can change your license plate frame. As always, I hope you found this video informative. If so, Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And see you next video.